building a franchise. Welcome to Bloomberg On Demand, the business of life. I'm Carol Biaggi. Building a franchise operation is how some entrepreneurs define success. To pull it off, you have to play many roles, including visionary, super salesman, inspirational leader, and management guru. Here's a look at one man who figured out how to wear all the hats you need to succeed. My son and I have uh, put this into vintage car rallies. We've driven this car a lot. It's a very comfortable, good driving car. Gordon Logan is showing off some of the classic cars he owns and uses to promote sport clips. The franchise chain of men's haircut shops he started in 1995 in Austin, Texas. Classic car collecting is something we do to help build the brand and build an image of sport clips. Uh, something that appeals to a wide range of demographics. That wide range includes lovers of auto racing. Sport Clips is an active sponsor of NASCAR teams. After 17 years in business, Sport Clips reached 1,000 stores across the nation, a billion dollars in haircuts, and ranked as one of Entrepreneur Magazine's fastest growing franchises. Logan, a former Air Force pilot with an engineering degree and an MBA, says success in franchising starts with a simple but compelling concept. We identified the need when we developed Sport Clips, and I think we're meeting that need better than the competition today. The concept is only the beginning. Then the franchisor has to convince potential franchisees to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy in. Follow me. For discovery days when people who are interested in, in sport clips and are considering becoming a franchisee have an opportunity to meet all the executive team, the people behind the scenes, so that we can make a decision as to whether this is the right uh, fit for them and for us. It's a, almost like a marriage, if you will, because a franchise is an interdependent win-win relationship. Both parties are dependent upon each other. Logan learned the hard way the importance of creating a process and system that produces success. In the late 1970s, he bought into a franchise salon business that failed. I quickly learned how to operate independently because my franchisor went bankrupt within a year after I opened my first salon. So we developed sport clips to make sure that we provided the training, the support, the marketing programs and things that I did not have as a franchisee. Like any business, franchisors to need to hire the store. right people, but then they have to teach franchisees to do the same. We assist them with hiring their original team uh, so that they can go through the process with us and see how that is done. Like any franchisor with a proven concept, Logan wants to expand. We started in Texas and then we just expanded market by market, taking it step by step, making sure that we had all the systems and people in place to support uh, the stores when we moved into a new market. We're at 2422 total today. That growth has helped the franchisor's revenue pass the $25 million mark. I asked Logan if he ever expected to reach that level of financial success. Well, of course, I'm just surprised it took so long. For more information about how to franchise your business, go to the International Franchise Association at franchise.org. Thanks for watching Bloomberg On Demand, the business of life. I'm Carol Biagi.